Fox created. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Coward Podcast. For those that are listening and not watching, he's just going to take a quick respite because the, the mask that he's wearing will also prohibit him from um, taking a beverage, all right? Um, but uh, it kind of it kind of prevented the illegal side, but but in, inadvertently created this, you know, three-headed monster of a street art scene, <laughs> which did. now has led to everything being tolerated. What's your theory on that? Um... I gave up when the period of, the, I'd say, the transition. Not really, I gave up, because I've always, after then, I always still did do... Once a writer, cetera. always a writer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, but I just didn't go out yeah. spraying. But I think where it got so easy from that period, I think all the shops started popping up. So then everyone, every, and then everyone else started writing, and then it just become normality instead yeah. of... Yeah. <laughs> instead of something naughty as such. Do you kind of get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. Cause so, so that's so that's where that kind of transition, I think that sort of transition sort of happened. But yeah, I think it's more because of the shops. Mm. There, there was a graffitism shop in Clapham, wasn't there? Do you remember that? And also in a place called Hackbridge. That's it, Hackbridge. <laughs> I mean, you know, South <laughs> South really were kind of ammunitioned up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean Northwest definitely good to go for some hitters. Yeah, yeah. Real. I mean Northwest definitely bred some, you know, some of the the, the day and age of graph writers. But oh, South yeah, definitely of like ATG armed come down straight. I mean, hit fucking every rooftop you could possibly think of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Every, every you wake up one morning and every rooftop was done. Elmo, Panic. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I can't fit. You know, the, the standout yeah, ones yeah, yeah. were them two. Like, but there were the, there was more like mm. all the way down Streatham High Road, mm-hmm. and you think, fuck it, and hell. it just doesn't stop, does it? Yeah, yeah. ATG. Um, RT, um, these were and T, um, THC as well. Yeah, I yeah, put yeah, them in the same bracket. Yeah. Maybe the tail end of DPM. I mean, these were fucking. This was a. Def, these were a defining crews of, of London. Oh yeah, big time. Uh, am I missing any others out? I mean, um, I, I could say like if South, where you'd go obviously DTB, DDS, yes, yes, and yes, then yes. even you'd go as far as like MZ. But and then mm. us lot come into the scene. SLC, SLC started. Yeah, so I started go. SLC late. SLC was around from two thousand and six, like big up, like close an hour. Because we're getting to South now. This is more yeah, South yeah. territory as opposed but, to anywhere else. But we ended up with that crew mapped. So like, uh-huh. even when you like see like people's graffiti things, like they put SLC up and stuff yeah. in there. So like, it in a way in South. I'd say, and over as well, we sort of repped that crew in sort of a way. Like, we'd we done bits yeah. for it, for it to be a self-recognised crew, mm. as well as the the respected ones of, say, DDS is all over London and selected bit. But when we would say, for instance, there, like, DDS was Brixton everywhere. It was, mm. it was just fucked. Yeah, yeah, totally. For the spread of the name as well, I mean... Of course, there is quality in every, you know, artist that comes through. So they wouldn't be put in a crew. But when you have so many writers, it's it's almost it's hard not to get coverage, isn't it? Ah, uh, like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> it's just like yeah, running yeah. them off like it's an it, it, incredible era. Oh yeah, incredible. Glad to be a part of it. You are, aren't you? Yeah, we yeah. said this before. You 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 wouldn't change it for the fucking world, would you? Oh no, no, definitely not. I'm glad. I'm glad I went through the hardship and. Worrying about thinking if I'm going to get my paint taken and all that bollocks. I'm fucking glad. I'm like, I'm I'm happy to say that as well. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm I'm not closed book thinking. Oh no, that didn't happen to me mm. and all that bollocks. Like closed book. Yeah, people did try to take my shit off me when I was a lot younger, but it's because of where I lived. Because if I lived in the other areas, that wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Because at that period of time as well, I was like, say, three three years into kickboxing, yeah. so I could defend myself, but I can't defend myself against a weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel you. Yeah. So it it is it, sort of a that was a controversial thing for me as well. Being a trained fighter, mm. so controversial in that people what people challenged you more. No, no, no. I'm saying like, say for instance, when I was younger, where the people think me was a target, when in actual fact, I do a roundhouse around the fucking face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can defend myself. Do you get what I mean? So, but when it, it, in that in that stage of time. You didn't know what was going to get pulled out. Yeah. So, just, just whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it whatever? I'm often curious about the, the, the mindset of an of a, um, athlete like that, that, that martial arts, self-defence, 
you know, if someone pulls the out a product of the art. Oh, if someone pulls out a blade and that, yeah, by all means, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll happily let that person think they got the better until they turn round, because then they don't know what's going to happen. But in that precise moment, if someone's at you, say for instance, like that, you could either get hurt and still win the battle. But would you rather just Loud. not get? Yeah, yeah, not get hurt. Yeah, it's true. It isn't, it isn't the kung fu flick you hope it would be sometimes, right? Yeah, 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 of course. And also, if you do something people to do, impact someone's... You, you, you hear stories anything, about people throw knives around and now they're thinking they're getting hit by a punch. Yeah. Until they, and then they're still going until to they the look down. And it, it's and fucking blood everywhere. Yeah they're, yeah, they're fucked. So, yeah, by all means, yeah, crack on, take whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that time, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we wouldn't want to, you know, incite anything or suggest that you wouldn't... Oh, want, no, that, that's this is... Yeah, we're talking... 18 years ago, like, yeah, yeah it's totally different now. This shit, this shit, shit don't really As you get happen. older as well, as you get older as well, you, I mean, <laughs> comment below. But, yeah, you know, you're not so much the target. Oh, you? yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> you're, you're a breath of fresh okay. air just walking down yeah, the road, yeah, you know. Because like, you're yeah. older now and, you know... Blend in, you know, like, it's, it's totally theory. different. Yeah, yeah, it's totally different. Like, yeah, that's 18 years ago. Like, it's totally... You, you, you wouldn't walk outside of a grass shop now and think, like, even someone... Even if they were starting a graph career at 15 or 14, going to a graph shop, do you, they, do you think they would be hesitant? I don't know if they're allowed to be served paint at that age, but but do, if they was, do you think they'd be hesitant to walk out the shop thinking it's going to get taken off them? I don't think they would. Like, that's a really good question. Is there an age restriction? There might be. An... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Fib said something. Again, big up Fibs on his podcast saying that when he was younger, you know, it was almost like he was waiting outside trying to get some cigarettes off a news agent, <laughs> trying to get some paint outside of Crown and Black. Maybe it is the case. Maybe that still stands. I don't know. Yeah. So with me, I, I didn't. As it, as it, oh, Sham just sold me. Sort and it out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort this out. I, I yeah. can tell you what I used to go in there and buy covers, all chrome burners, and that alien green. Little paint, if people remember the yeah, little yeah, alien yeah, yeah. greens. Dude, dude Sham, me and Sham have got some awesome history. So he used to, he used to be my um, uh, roadie. He used to do my merch oh, on yeah, my shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So he'd come and do the, do the gigs. And while we were performing, we'd get him out there stickering and bombing oh, yeah. while we were doing the shows. <laughs> right. But the, 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 the golden moment was at the end of one of the tours. This is a little story of mine, really. So um, I wanted to kind of like honour Sham from being there. I was like, right, let's do a beatbox install. Now, my sound man was Martin Russian, who produced all the human league. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking bonkers. I, I kind of had this moment of looking at these two worlds and generations crossing paths and him shaking, you know, Sham shaking hand with Martin Russian and this whole thing playing out in a graffiti shop. It was just like, you know, it's just some fucking surreal shit. In it my, is surreal, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally entertaining for me, but for everyone else, it made zero <laughs> difference. But in my mind, I'm just like... Martin Russian from the Human League is in the fucking shop <laughs> yeah, yeah. and Sham's there serving the sound and it just was all just the one big clusterfuck of all. It was a wicked store, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, what a place. They had a radio station up top. Oh, yeah, yeah, they? yeah. It, just even how the, 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 the size of it, how it was caged. Perfect. The vinyls yeah. up on the, on the side. Like, everything about it was just perfect yeah. for, for what it was. Yeah, yeah. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brixton lost something when that went. Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, big up foul. Sham again. As a, you know, yeah, without foul. Era. And what, 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 a, what a shot! Like yeah. I said, obviously bad times, good times, but it got to the point where you could just walk out because mm. you, 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 you knew everyone at that. When, when you progress yourself and people are like coming out and then they hear your name and like, yeah, and like Sham saying like buy Ames or what's going mm. like later mm. on five Ames or whatever. You know, like the people standing outside the shop, because they were standing yeah. outside the shop, yeah, yeah. let you walk. So when they knew, like, mm. like yeah. sort of, you you know, like, not so much known, because I, I, I can't really say I was. I, I, I worked my way up mm. continuously throughout the years. So, like, like I said, I've done, like, done loads of tracks. I've done a couple of panels, but... Yeah, nothing to fucking say I was a hard, super hard hitter. Yeah, but you were passionate and you yeah, loved yeah, shit, Yeah, yeah, passionate, man. yeah. I was born into it. Yeah, born into it. So, moving forward to this, this uh, AIMS 2.0, this this new uh, mission brief, because let's, let's not bear any bones about it, it seems to me <laughs> that you... You just you, you poach your head over the bush and you're just like, oh, it's all that's going on. Right, I think I'll just uh, take this, take this, take this, take this, <laughs> and I'll cut through this like a fucking pair of shears. You know? Yeah. Um, so I'll go back to October last year. Um, I broke up with my baby mum. 
So, like, we was on and off for 10 years, and, like, it's got, got, like, quite hardship, hmm. like, for, for my mental state. So I, I hadn't, bear in mind, again, I hadn't wrote from 2016 to still not even October last year. And, um, like, my mental state, like, I went for a bad pl- stage, but... To be fair, like me and her, like we're really cool. Like it's all good now. Like you know, like wicked. We like it's all good for like my little boy and that. You know, like it's all mutual. We've got everything's in place. Mm-hmm. Like it's a, like I don't like the word co-parenting, but it, it's a proper co-parent type thing. Very so, true. but it weren't like that to start off with. Yeah. So yeah, I was like in a bad place. To be fair. Okay. So come like February, I was taking walks in strange places where I shouldn't be walking. Oh, give me an example. What kind of... Just like, just like woods and that, you know, like, just random places, you know, like, well, I shouldn't have been, like, I was just lost in thought, if you get what I mean. Yeah. I needed something... Escapism. Yeah, but I needed something to take that away. Because that weren't me, you know, like... Yeah. So that's why I haven't... That's why 2.0's here. We're, every action deserves a reaction of some sort, and people can go one or two different ways, you know. Um, but because we've all been there when we've suffered a, an impact, such as losing a relationship, losing a family member, yeah, losing yeah, yeah. something. You, you, we're no. only three stages away from going fucking mental. Yeah, we had like yeah. a home, you know, like yeah. a family home. Everything. Cat, lizard, you know, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, it's real. T- I mean, it's p- comment below. I mean, you know, yeah. you know. You know what I mean? It's like we've talked about this before and it does resonate that um, if you don't take action on the thing that you believe in to be your path course, you'll be, you'll be denying a future prosperity literally because you didn't take, take the opportunity to do the thing that you were most passionate oh, about. Oh, of course. So in the process of like before that, like... So a three-year period before that, I was still doing digital work. Mm. I branded, like, I'd say, like, not to be biased, but I'd say 50% of the UK ca- cannabis products um, in the UK. I branded 50% of them. Really? Yeah. I, uh, and that's not to be biased. Yo, talk about carp DM. <laughs> yeah. well, I hear there's this burgeoning new fucking weed sensation. That's, like, up, about the... that's another one, Buds and Blocks. Like, yeah, I'm going to see this. He's uh, just holding up a... Yeah. Uh, a uh... And um, even recently, like, to What's work this with... What's this called? I it's a, it's a, 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 a grinder, like a... Oh, it's a grinder, is it? Yeah. I just thought it was a uh, pouch. Oh, yeah, got you, see? Even, like, to recently, like, oh, strain cool. stations. Yeah. Graphic like... looks great. The graphics is awesome. Yeah, that's one of my designs, yeah. It's fucking good. Sorry. <laughs> it's no good for the audio crew. Sorry about that. I was just completely enamoured by the graphics. But yeah, so. even to recently, like working with strain stations. Oh, like tight strain sponsor. station, you know what I do? Yeah, so like... Sponsor to the stars out here. Yeah, literally. Big up strain stations. Yep. But uh, before all that, so like I was my actual name behind the design page. This is even before I even like before I broke up with my like like my actual baby mum. So like I did this design page, and and at the time I broke up with my baby mum, that design page got hacked. It was an extra turnover to my daytime job, which was anything from five hundred to a thousand pound a month, and basically I had to start again. But in the process of breaking up, that happening, losing my mind a bit, like. I think the only thing what could have done it is is why I'm sat here today is is the graph mm. literally what I would I wouldn't be sat here today if I didn't have that sort of thought that like, mm. where I need to take my mind and process something and that's what that's what I did that's incredible um when you have a <laughs> okay <clears throat> so when you have like a platform that you're creating that it's got a turnaround like you say anything up to 500 pound a month okay that gets hacked but it's definitely clear to me that you're on the ups upshot and this is now well, you're now in a you're, you're now in a in a very prosperous position Blessing in disguise yeah so how is it uh because i know a lot of writers that do this and you know you are um that that will just take that risk of going that step too far, even though they know they've got a day job, even though they know the chips are up. Like, how is it, how is it, how do you, how do you validate that? Because, how can, how can I put it? I've done it young, but 
I didn't do it all city young. Yeah. Like, I've only started writing since March. Yeah. Like, so if anyone didn't realise, like, so obviously I've wrote for all that time, but I've only started again. And I, the 1st of March yeah, yeah, is yeah. the exact date. Started gangs, Gangstar Designs. Fucking hell. And, 1st of March? Yeah, 1st of March this year. Oh my God. Mate, it just feels like it's been forever. Like, it feels like you've been so busy. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah. never. <laughs> if you said March to me, I'd say, Shh, shut up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, yeah, 1st of March. The, the, even the page. I didn't have a design page for that whole period. I was lost. I was literally lost. No, so my closest friends, I didn't even speak to. They were like trying to find me and check up on me and that and stuff like that. But I wasn't talking to no one. I was lost. The only person I wanted to talk to was her, but I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, didn't. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't want me. So not the fact that we broke up because it was a bad relationship. It become mutual. So, so we could have a conversation. Mm. But again, that was fucking in my head. So it would. Yeah. 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 yeah so I completely just had to go. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, first of March, I woke up one day. And I thought, fuck this. Exactly, literally, Good exactly that. So it, they're both mutual. You, you're painting along with the graphics, along with, you know, the, the CBD um, uh, graphics and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Every, it's all mutually exclusive to... So now, yeah, so before I was on a design page and like I say, it was my mm. name. No one... So the people I was doing work for didn't know I, I had... <laughs> So wait, sorry, yeah. I'm just, I've just downed this bottle of cherry wine. <laughs> he, said, he got to the door and he goes, yeah, South London in a building. And he literally just handed me over this cherry bee. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Very good. Um, yeah, so it's... it's um, yeah, so like I said, it was like my name. So no one... So like I said, I haven't got like some major crazy graph background, but I was known, you know, like, so... so I could have used and utilised my name in this design page and I would have probably done a lot better than what I did. Like, mm. I've done a lot of work for Please Cakes. Like that. Mm. That, that's another major company. They got 2.2 million followers on TikTok and they sell their cake in Selfridges. Mm. So, but I've done a lot of their work and it, they've got a big massive Please Cakes in their office, which is, I'd say, 40 foot long, which I've done. It's so amazing. But I weren't Ames. Mm. As whereas if I was Ames, I'd, I'd have probably got a bit more credential, but I'd say it's working better now is because I've, I've, I've hit it. Yeah. Yeah, you've gone in. Yeah, I've, I've hit it. And I think that's why it's not only for the 20 years celebrations here, here, chinky drink, chin, chin, but it's more, it, it's more a celebration of how far writers, artists, people can take their craft into different um, walks of creative field. I think that, is so important and never shunned upon this podcast. I think it's important that we we, yeah, we celebrate and focus on the people that, yeah, they did start off in a particular place, good or bad, but now they're here. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. That's, 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 that's odd. And, and regardless of what happened, it made me who I am today. Yeah, so yeah. I'd, I'd never take it back. I'd never take it away. Yeah. I'd, I, I want that there because mm. it's who I am. So... Yeah. So there's NFTs, there's 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 tattooing, there's you, you're now branching into all these different facets. Yeah, so that's so that's and that's to be fair. The reason why I've hit it, I've got I've got a plan over the next year, and that started from March. So when I woke up, and I worked out this plan. So one of my good pals, one of my like, he's my top five. You know, like he's tearsing. So he's like top 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 tattooist. Like, oh, okay. big shout, tearsing, big up. So. Like, I was chilling with him and we were sitting there and he was like, you need to tattoo. Mm -hmm. He's like, you can't be an apprentice because I can't tell you what to draw because you know where it all goes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but you can use my studio type thing in the evening. Really? Yeah, yeah, he's fucking, he's one of my best mates, man. That's that fucking sick. So what, you're just practising, practising, practising of... So, like, that. so I digitally draw. So he digitally draws for his tattoos, which yeah. is quite bizarre, because she thinks everything's sketch, but it's not. It's all digital now. Everything's yeah. digital. Yeah. So when or procreate was, kind yeah, of thing. Oh, yeah, procreate. What, uh, 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 abode, um, yeah. Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. But people are like, oh, you don't draw. You try and do yeah, your yeah, yeah. drawings on that yeah. and see how hard it is to start off with. Because yeah. yeah. we could do what you can do. And yeah. that. Yeah, not so, to mention hoardings, track size, road size. <laughs> so, you know I mean, fucking 
call me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> NFTs. Teach yeah, how to yeah. use fucking Procreate. Get the fuck out of here. So, like, <laughs> I, mate, I'll give everyone tips as well. Like, people hold back on tips on Procreate. But, like, Fibs, I gave Fibs some tips mm. on, like, how to base out his layers. Like, we'll save him, what something to take him maybe three hours, take it down to one hour 20. Yeah, so, yeah, so, and I'm not, I'm not one of them people who's going to hold back anything. I'll help people. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing I've recognised about you, champ, is that you're, you're very much an open book so far as conversation oh, about... Oh, yeah, of course. I think it's best. This, you know, like, everyone's got life experience, so it's up to you if you want to hear it or not, but I'm, I'm here, and I'm here to help. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's a big problem with everybody. It's like everyone holds a, an, an amazing wealth of information that can be shared and shit fucking fly. Oh, knowledge is, but, knowledge is great. Like, that's the, like, it's key, it's great. Like, you can't beat knowledge. Yeah, you can't, and... and and shared knowledge. Yeah, and also, like, I mean, for all my good folk yeah. to watch this, you know, we're avid listeners, so it's, 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 it's great for us, but there's some people out in the world that just don't want to attain information. They oh, don't. yeah, yeah. It's it's, yeah, it is mad, like, you'd, you'd think... The more people express, the, like, the, the, the more people and people can learn and achieve, and, yeah. you know, it's, like, it's weird. So, like, I talk short. Like, you will happily say, like, I don't know if people wear, like, short RTZ. Uh-huh. But I taught him from like nothing. But n- not many people know that. But people will know that, like mm-hmm. close to him, mm-hmm. and he'll happily say like, "I call him my young Jedi." Like, but it obviously, Sick. obviously, obviously, he's not because if you see him, you wouldn't even. Short? Yeah, yeah. Big up, big up. Yeah, big up, short. Um, but yeah, he's like, I, like, what? Why he's painting today how he is now is because not because I taught him. Like, I said, "Oh, this is how you do it," because mm. everything's his own style. I said, maybe do these and, you know, like, this is how you base out things and this is how it should look. Because I'm not just a graffiti artist, I'm an artist. Like, Yeah, I think that's the, that goes without saying. That's one thing that I would yeah. definitely highlight in this podcast is that there, there seems to be a lot more under, under the hood than just what's on surface. Yeah, I'm a bit of a machine. That brain is naughty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ADHD, does that, that, does that help plough that... Uh, does that forge the path for what you understand as being work rate? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. If I, I'd, it's super thinking without thinking. Mm, I can so, imagine. So, if someone gives me an idea, say for instance, this guy, he only uh, has to be in the buds and blocks. The yeah, the grinder. Yeah. So if he can say two words to me, say for instance, cola cubes. Yeah. I've already thought instantly. I'm like, oh, we'll do some Latino cola cubes with some bandanas and gold teeth. <laughs> 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 like it's instant yeah, it's, it's off the cuff like it's, there's, it's not like oh you've got to come back to me in a week and I'll think about it and I've got sketch you I've know re- people, people get paid for that shit bro you know? it's, I can, it's thought about it I'll draw it it's there live dude can you imagine some of those uh, committee based creative marketing um, meetings where they're all sitting around a table in a really big building somewhere just outside the flyover in Paddington and they're coming up with these creative brainstorms people pay for people like you to walk in and upset the fucking setup like that's <laughs> money in itself bro that's it. so that's the that's, that's the, the mistake of having a design page and not having my artist name so again I think the reason why the, the Gangstar Designs page is, again is, is doing so well from March you've got to think this is nearly at 2,000 followers generic yeah. followers from yeah. March driving driving yeah, yeah. and that's, that's not like a progress of getting like posting on loads of pages because they, they're they not interested in my pages all these um, iPad uh, Procreate graffiti and all that they got no. like 250 they're not interested in me no. at all no, no. but you don't get an influx of a thousand followers like if, if they posted my work I would so it's a natural sort of thing but that's from like, like I said March so you yeah. wait until fucking but it's only two cause, years from now yeah, li- li- yeah exactly that's, that, that's, that's, that's the hope so I ain't, like I said I've got a year plan and the first five weeks, I'd already done 40 roadsides in five weeks. I was doing four a night. <laughs> four a night. <laughs> Truth as well. Like the, oh, all, all, it's not even just four a night. I was taking the piss. I'm on the roof in High Street at four in the afternoon filming. I've got the footage. Broad daylight, filming everyone, going that people don't look above their noses while I'm doing a rooftop. They're on their phones and headphones. That's what L- literally, doing. like... I was taking a piss, like, and I'm still taking a piss now. I'm rolling up to these spots, broad daylight, 
with T, like again, me and T's went on a yeah, mad. Yo, and I just have to big up T's. This right. is my fucking yeah. guy. What, what, I mean, what I'm a guy, man! Shocked and surprised, and appalled that we haven't shouted him out. He's probably, <laughs> he's probably sitting he's probably, there. Yeah. He's sitting there screwing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're in there, Tees. Tees. You're in. Right, you're in T's. <laughs> we love you, brother. Yeah, mad respect for this guy, man. Fucking, like we sort of, we just sort of clicked see eye to eye. We've got that same, you know, mentality straight away. You mm. know. Instantly, and then like we, we, yeah, we did a couple of daytime missions, and you yeah. fucking done your legging, didn't you? As well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Mm, not, 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 not the ninja backflip you had before, but at least you salvaged it. Yeah, that's what that's what happens when you put a bin on top of a brick wall and try and stand on top of a bin. Yeah, yeah. Well, it needs must, and we've all been there, you know. But been, been there. Oh, f- yeah, literally. Sorry, <laughs> fucking hell, um, brother. It's it's been a real fucking pleasure, and I think more than anything, it, this shit is inspiring and de- and designed by that way. Yeah. It's super important that conversations like this get highlighted. And after 20 fucking yeah. years, bro, that's And I ain't sick. stopping now, so, yeah. Out and out doing it, my this brother. This is the Ames time. Oh, yeah, so check this out. So this, this is a yeah. present to Killer. This is the Ames Lex. So they're, they're um, because it's my time. I started this year. Um, so selected people are going to get these watches. Um, they're going to go in shops and etc. So you'll see them in like, you know, just a bit, of, just sort of to represent that it's sort of my era and I'm, I'm going to, I want people to recognise my art, just not my graffiti. I just, yeah. yeah. Heavy. So it's, so it's, it's a one, one for yeah, so for those listening or watching, it's a one-off um, Rolex with Ames tagged along the bottom of it and it looks fucking wicked and it's going to go up pride and place aims time on the the graffiti tony hart board right now <laughs> <laughs> old tight fucking aims bro thank you so much it's, yeah. i mean i i did all the gushing before that you gave it to me before you understand it it's just fucking fantastic and and what an ingen- ingenuitive idea that it's, is, yeah it's just something you know the sort of the art the art side of me yeah yeah, so I thought, you know, like, Sick. yeah, they're going in graph shops and stuff like that. Like, Chips will have one in, um, in Wild Style yeah, Caf. They got Wild Style Caf as well, VIP Graffiti, big shout out. Train Stations is going to have one in the yeah, shop. Yeah, Fresco, Dave, and Chrome and Black, all the crew, everybody, everybody. And, uh, yo, thank yeah. you so much, my brother. Bang yeah. on. Well, that concludes pleasure. your podcast experience, my brother. It's been a pleasure. Roll on the next 20 years, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, non-stop now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's your lot for today. Big shout out to the originals, people sharing and caring. We're doing it for our health. We ain't doing it for any other reason, trust me. I'm going to find a day job soon for you lot. Um, big shout out to everybody supporting from the jump. Uh, it means the world. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they. You stay lucky, people. Big up, Ames. Take care. Everyone, hope you enjoyed. Peace.